welcome to easy guide youtube channel today you will learn how to vectorize a png image in adobe illustrator let's get started by opening a png image from file menu or you can click here to open a file here you can see i have a png file in my pc let's open this file in illustrator file is open press control 0 on your keyboard to fit the zoom let's place our image here now make a duplicate of this image to see the difference between both images press and hold the alt key then drag the mouse let me clearly show you the difference between both images by typing their types while i am writing this Take a second to subscribe to the channel for interesting tech videos. So these both are image files. Now select the image by selection tool. Make sure the image is selected. Now go to windows and click image trace option. This is the image trace box. Here you can see some presets given by adobe illustrator let's check the first one which is auto color this is the progress bar which takes some time depending on your pc as you can see the image is vectorized but not showing good results let's check the second preset which is high color so this is a high color vectorized file which is looking good. One important thing to notice is when you select any presets from this panel the below bar will change accordingly. If I increase the value to 100 then you will see a better result in vector file. So here is how you can convert a PNG file into a vector file. As you can see this is a PNG file and this is a vector file. If we zoom it you can see the clear difference. This is a PNG file made with pixels. You can see the pixels here clearly. If we zoom into vector file you can see the objects and lines not pixels. So let's say if we decrease the value you will see the details are not as sharp as the previous result so this is difference now let's check the other options one by one this is a low color option with less accuracy than previous option the next one is grayscale option this option will change the png image into a grayscale vector file you can see when we select the grayscale option, the bar is also changed by grayscale accuracy option. Previously when we select the high color option, the bar was changed to color accuracy option. The next option is black and white. You can see the black and white result here. The last option is outline. You can see the result here. So in all these options, high color option worked very well for our PNG image. You can also check these presets to see the difference. I suggest to you to play with these presets to see the difference. As you can see, our PNG image have no background while the vector file have a white background. To remove the white background, click expand here or go to object and then expand. Press OK. The vector file is now expanded but this is a grouped object. To ungroup, click here or go to object and click ungroup. If there is still group, go again to object option and click ungroup. Now click once outside the file 
to unselect all. Then select the background layer and press delete key from keyboard. So here is our final file. If you have any question, don't hesitate to tell me in the comments section. I will answer your all questions in comment section. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more interesting videos like this.